Okay. Just to go over this real quick, I wanted to explain something, and I don't, I don't believe I've ever quite went over this this way, but we had the perfect opportunity since it was an important of a head as the Pro Max at 247 cc's and then couple that with getting a dual plane to feed this 1206 entrance which a lot of people will say it can't be done and they're a damn liar because I just did it and I did it I might add did not bust through the manifold did not have to put no epoxy in it took my sonic checker to it yeah and there's some spots it's pretty thin but it's an intake manifold there's no real pressure on it alright now here we have the 1206 Fell Pro gasket entrance at 1325 width and 2.210 top. It would be nice if we could get that. You can't get that number right there unless you go to a Jessel or T&D offset rocker with welding in the push rod area and we're talking about a major offset. I mean something along the lines on the rocker arms of uh, 450 to 550 offset and 200 offset on the lifter before you can make that real right there. The roof ain't so hard to make real, although it don't do it very far in, but it's part of the math as it squeezes and begins its um, divergent and uh, there's, let me see, the, the divergent and invergent duct work that squeezes and compresses. Now, we know that that gasket are them two numbers, okay, which comes to a cross-sectional area of 2.93. Now, here is the port in the head. This is where the push rod goes, all right? That number is 1.120. That's quite a difference from 1.325. So you can scribe this gasket onto the head, but uh, less than one inch, actually .900 in, it's going to squeeze back down where that push rod bulge is to 1.120. The height is going to be pretty close at 2.200, just 10 thousandths off right there. Now, if we do the cross-sectional area on them two, the actual, which is what you're going to have... Um, and the head is 2.46. Now this is where it gets tri critical. So at the pinch point of the head, 2.46 is your cross-sectional area point. Now, go to our bottom line here. Let's take a look at the intake manifold with what I've done. While I scribed the entrance of the 1206 on there, which you can plainly see, you're not really getting all that when you go about a half inch in, these are the numbers you're going to get. The width is 1.291 from 1.325 and the length is going to be 2100 instead of 2200. Now when you add them up, you end up with a cross-sectional area of 2.71. Now there's some of the ports you can't quite get that. The, the real bad curvature it's going to actually be a little bit less here and here, but the smallest it gets is 2.60 inches. So, what really matters is this to this. That's what it is in the head. That is going to be during the entire flow path of the head. We're talking about from the carburetor, through the runner, into the head, and into the bowl, and over the short turn. Which the short turn can be a pinch, but the short turn on this head was uh, it was around about 2.7 uh, I believe 2.6 to 2.7 so this statement right here that is the smallest area that's what the port's going to set up on that's what it's going to see so that means that our intake manifold even on the curvature the smallest point look at that it's about a tenth and a half bigger just a little bit but it's bigger enough that guess what the manifold is not going to restrict the head and it, the manifold will feed the head 100%. That's what this is all about. Now, like I said, I'm going to do a really good article on my website. I'm, I've been real busy trying to get some stuff caught up, but I'm fixing to redo the website. And this is going to be one of the main stories, how I covered this. And it will go in with more detail along with the flow numbers, flow sheets from the places that I went and had this done. And... Uh, 
this right here concludes the Pro Max um, 2100-160 Stage 4 all-out standard port location head. No raised runners with the Elderbrock Performer RPM intake, a polished one I might add, and uh, Ken Strain, the owner, is waiting for him to get him on there, and I believe he's going to do a video when he gets them and after he gets them running on his 406 to let us know how well the car performed and how it done. Alrighty then, that's all for now and this concludes Pro Max. <laughs>